The world is populated with street gangs, crime units, and groups that all fall under the umbrella bodies known as the Mafia. Each Mafia family has its own rules, methods of operation, and criminal acts that bring income, power, and fame. In this video, we'll be looking at the most popular Mafia families. Number 10. Comando Vermeljo. In 1979, when the group was formed, it was called Flange Vermeljo, meaning Red Phalanx. The Brazilian criminal organization was formed as an alliance between ordinary convicts and leftist militants. After its founding members were wiped out by the military dictatorship, the group changed its name to Comando Vermelho, which means Red Command or Red Commando. Today, despite being known to act as one family, CV comprises a collection of independent cells that do not have a strict hierarchy. However, they have leaders, donos, like Luis Fernando da Costa and Isaias da Costa Rodriguez, who was in charge of the different aspects of the gang's crimes. Although some of these leaders have been imprisoned, they continue to rule the prisons and contribute strategically to CV operations on the outside. CV's primary operations include arms trafficking, protection racketeering, drug trafficking, kidnapping for ransom, loan sharking, narco-terrorism, armored truck hijacking, and turf wars. Number 9. Yakuza Yakuza also known as Gokudo, is a transnational organized crime group that originated in Japan. Members of the Yakuza call themselves Ninkyo Dantai, which means chivalrous organizations, but the police and media call them Boryokudan, or violent groups. In the early 1960s, the group was estimated to have over 200,000 members, but as time passed and the market changed, their numbers reduced drastically. Like any other mafia family, Yakuza has a strict code of conduct. They are organized, but they have some strange ritual practices, like yubitsume, which is the amputation of the left little finger. Members of the group are known to wear sharp suits, slick their hair back, and have a large number of tattoos on their bodies. In their prime, the Yakuza carried out a host of criminal activities, including influencing the Japanese media in their favor. Although much has been done by the Japanese government to restrict the growth and operations of the Yakuza, the group is still regarded as one of the most sophisticated and wealthiest criminal organizations. To this day, they continue to carry out their crimes within the country, and citizens are still very much afraid of them. Number 8. Cosa Nostra The Cosa Nostra, also referred to as the Mafia, is an Italian mafia and organized crime syndicate. Its origin dates back to the 19th century in the region of Sicily. The Cosa Nostra is an association made up of different criminal groups with the same organizational structure and code of conduct who have agreed to present themselves under a common brand. Each criminal group is known as a family or clan. They each claim sovereignty over a territory, for example, a village, a town, or a neighborhood in a city. Members of the Mafia call themselves men of honor. Today, the Cosa Nostra has established gangs in North and South America and taught them to replicate the practices of their Sicilian ancestors. The Cosa Nostra's main activities include the organizing and overseeing of illegal transactions and agreements, settlements of disputes between criminals, and protection racketeering, landowners, shop owners, drug dealers, plantation owners, and politicians often pay the Mafia a commission for their protection. If a shop owner is under the protection of the Mafia, they make it known to the public that if anyone steals from the shop, they would face the wrath of the Mafia. To date, People in Italy still go to the Mafia for dispute settlement and protection. Number 7. Russian Mafia The existence of organized crime in Russia can be dated back to the Russian Empire, but during the Soviet era, a group known as Vorivizakonya, translated as Thieves-in-Law, emerged as the leaders of prison groups. After World War II, more gangs were created because the black market was flourishing. The gangs were made of former prison members, corrupt government officials, business leaders, people of the same ethnicity, people of the same religion, and people interested in the same kind of criminal activities. The Russian Mafia is otherwise known as Bratva, or Brotherhood. By 2012, an estimated 6,000 groups had been formed, and more than 200 of them had international ties. The Russian Mafia is structured like that of the Italians, where each clan claims a particular territory and operates there. The Italian Mafia was an inspiration to many of the groups formed in Russia, which is why they have similar criminal activities. The Russian Mafia only differed from the Italians in terms of environmental influences. There was a high level of political corruption and arms trafficking in post-Soviet Russia. This allowed the gangs to expand greatly and also involve many government officials in their business. The Five New York Families 
In 1931, Salvatore Maranzano formed the five families of the Italian-American Mafia that operated mainly in New York. Salvatore structured the group in a way that each family had their territory to lord over, but all families would report directly to him. In an unexpected turn of events, Salvatore was soon murdered. Shortly after, his role was abolished, and the bosses of the five families didn't have to answer to anyone. Since then, they have grown to become the most powerful mafia families in New York, and arguably, all of America. Number 6. The Colombo Family There was peace in the Colombo family from its inception until the late 1950s. Since then, the family has faced three internal wars that caused a tear among its members. During their hot years, the Colombo family was involved in a ton of criminal activities, including arms trafficking, arson, assault, battery, bribery, burglary, cigarette smuggling, chop shop operations, conspiracy, contract killing, counterfeiting, drug trafficking, extortion, fencing, fraud, illegal gambling, larceny, loan sharking, money laundering, murder, robbery, skimming, theft, truck hijacking, tax evasion, and protection racketeering. Although law enforcement agents think the Colombo family is the weakest among the five families, the family still operates in Brooklyn, Queens, and Long Island. They also have influence in Staten Island, Manhattan, the Bronx, New Jersey, and Florida. Number 5. The Genovese Family The Genovese family, also known as the West Side, is the oldest and largest of the five families. The family was known as the Luciano family until 1957, when it was renamed after Vito Genovese. For many years, the Genovese family had control of the waterfront on the west side, the docks, and the Fulton Fish Market. They have ties with the Philadelphia, Buffalo, and Patricia crime families. They also influence many of the small mob families outside New York. The criminal activities of the Genovese family include racketeering, murder, labor union infiltration, extortion, illegal gambling, drug trafficking, loan sharking, bookmaking, truck hijacking, fraud, prostitution, pornography, bribery, and assault. They also found ways to use new technology to improve illegal gambling. One notable thing about this family is their obedience to the Omerta, a code of conduct that emphasizes secrecy and non-cooperation with law enforcement agencies. Number 4. The Gambino Family the Gambino family is named after Carlo Gambini, who allegedly planned the hit on Albert Anastasia to take over the family. The family's operation extended from New York to the eastern seaboard of California. In 1957, the Gambino family rose to power when Gambino partnered with Meyer Lansky to take control of gambling interests in Cuba. The family operates in Queens, Manhattan, Brooklyn, Staten Island, and Long Island. They are involved in racketeering, extortion, fraud, illegal gambling, money laundering, murder, robbery, drug trafficking, fencing, truck hijacking, loan sharking, prostitution, and pornography. Number 3. The Lucchesi Family The Lucchesi family, formerly known as the Gagliano family, kept their activities low-key in the Bronx, Manhattan, and New Jersey. The Lucchesi family grew to power when they teamed up with the Gambino family to control organized crime in New York. The garment industry in New York was under the control of the Lucchese family. After one of the Lucchese family bosses, Anthony Casso became violent and ordered over 100 murders. Many of the group's members became government informants. Most of the members were arrested, and the family almost broke, but they managed to weather the storm and still operate in New York today. Their operations include racketeering, extortion, fraud, illegal gambling, money laundering, murder, robbery, drug trafficking, fencing, truck hijacking, loan sharking, prostitution, and pornography. Number 2. The Bonanno Family The Bonanno family is named after Joseph Bonanno, who was the boss until the 1960s. During his reign, the family became the most powerful of the five families. After the Banana Wars, an FBI agent infiltrated the family, causing it to crash to the ground. But in the 1990s, the family regained control and was back on the commission. It also went back to being the most powerful family in New York. During the 20th century, the Bonanno family was seen as the most brutal of the five families. Assisted by crime families like the Buffalo Crime Boss, the Bonanno family expanded into Canada. Their operations include racketeering, loan sharking, money laundering, murder, 
drug trafficking, extortion, and illegal gambling. Number 1. La M, also known as the Mexican Mafia, is a Mexican-American organized crime group based in the United States. The Mexican Mafia did not originate in Mexico, it is rather a U.S. prison organization. Although the gang is involved in several criminal activities, their primary source of income involves extorting drug distributors outside the prison and distributing drugs within the prison system. The gang has a strict code of conduct and a constitution and offenders of the gang's law are often killed. New members are passed through tests of loyalty which include theft or murder. Aside from the constitution, there are four major infractions that every member must avoid if they don't want to be killed. They are becoming an informant, acts of cowardice, acts of homosexuality, and showing disrespect against fellow gang members. Government officials say that the gang has about 500 members who have numerous associates within the California prison system, including 50,000 foot soldiers who do the actual dirty work for the gang. The Mexican Mafia has a great influence on every Hispanic street gang in Southern California, including the 18th Street Gang and the brutal MS-13. The Mexican Mafia has been referred to as the most powerful, dangerous, and feared criminal organization in the world by both law enforcement officials and the U.S. government. It is important to note that the Mexican Mafia is an entirely different entity from the Mexican cartels. And that's a wrap for this video. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.